Hello and welcome to another episode of our EBMS Insider Series. This is a regular video series we do to demonstrate tips, tricks, highlight features, and provide other information to help you get the most out of your software. My name is Nathaniel Gingrich. I'm the Chief Product Officer of Eagle Business Software. And in this episode, we'll be looking at the My Inventory app, how it works, and some of the hidden options that can make your experience better. The features we'll be looking at are available in EBMS 8.4. My Inventory is a member of the family of My EBMS apps. These apps are available for your iOS, Android, and Windows tablet and phones. The My Inventory app is, as it suggests, focused on the inventory aspects of EBMS and works very nicely on several mobile scanners. It provides a live connection with your EBMS data. Who benefits from this app? It could be any number of people. It could be that salesperson who needs the latest product information. It could be an inventory controller or warehouse manager who's checking stock levels or locations. It might be the shipping department who's picking, packaging, and shipping products. It could also be the receiving department who's receiving product in, verifying information, UPC codes are correct, and then storing that product in the warehouse. And there's many more. So we'll assume that you have watched the My EBMS Quick Start Guide, and you have My EBMS up and running. Now all you need to do is provide your workers with access to the My Inventory app. Go to their worker record, app settings tab, and select and allow the My Inventory app for them. The My Inventory app is feature rich. There are many features available here, like the full product catalog. And then there's a bunch of stock management features shipping, receiving, and warehouse transfer features. In this Insider, we're only going to look at the first two. We're gonna go through the product catalog and orient there, as well as stock management and some very specialized features available. So let's dive into the product catalog. This is where we can access and edit product information. When you choose My Inventory on the menu, you'll be taken to the list of features. From there, choose Product Catalog. This will load the inventory search view. And from here, you can search by ID. You can search by any word in the description. You can decide whether or not you want to show the inactive items. And if you're on iOS or Android, you can scan a barcode to open the item directly. You can also search for items within a category. So you can search for any word within a category name and return a list of all the products within that category and even within subcategories of that same category. Choose a product and you'll be brought to the summary page where the most key pieces of information about that product are visible. We're gonna go through a number of tabs to get, provide you with insights of the capability of this app. The first tab we'll look at is the Details tab. And this is very similar to the General tab in EBMS. Here you'll find the description, you'll find UPC information, and so much more. Next, we'll go to the Pricing tab. And here you have available the cost, the base, you have all the formulas, you have the various price levels, and you can configure and adjust and edit any of the information here, just like in EBMS. On the count tab, we have the various counts just like in EBMS. We can also adjust counts here, and we can add and remove units of measure and adjust our stock levels like the min, max, and reorder amount. And on the purchasing tab, we have the primary vendor and a list of all the vendors we have purchased this product from in the past and what their last cost was and what the invoice was. 
And then on the sales side, we can query and pull a list of all the sales invoices that have this product on them. If you have my orders allowed, you're able to open up those sales invoices as well. The EBMS document storage module brings powerful functionality to my inventory. With it, you're able to store product images or product specs so that anyone out on the field can open them up and have them available to them. Now we'll shift gears and look at some stock management features. These features are designed specifically for the inventory controller or warehouse manager. In a warehouse environment, a dedicated scanner is often very helpful. We've integrated with several. So check out our store to see the options and to get more information. In stock management, the first tab we come to is the details tab. Here, if you have the warehouse module, you'll set the warehouse you're working in. And then you can choose a product and see basic information about that product. Again, you can scan a barcode and it will load the information for that product right here. A great tool for cycle counting is the adjust tab. Here you can scan an item and quickly adjust the on hand. If you're doing an annual physical inventory, you can use the adjust batch tab. And here you can select your batch that has been set up in EVMS and scan into it. This will allow an inventory controller to review the batch as it's been scanned and also do an adjustment for a previous day if they wish. The order tab will likely be used by a purchasing agent who's walking through a warehouse and deciding what he wishes to order. So in this tab, you can scan an item and quickly enter it in an ordered amount, which will then show up on the inventory purchasing screen when he goes to create purchase orders. UPC Associate is helpful for a receiving agent who's ensuring that all products and their UPCs are in EBMS. Set location allows a warehouse manager or a receiving agent to very quickly specify where a product is stored in the warehouse. With some configuration on your EBMS data server, you're also able to print labels from my EBMS. And you may wish to do so from receiving or if you're repricing a bunch of products. So let's look at a few ways you can use my EBMS more effectively. First of all, you can personalize any grid or list by tapping and holding on the header and then choosing which columns you wish to show. And you can even reorder them to get them in the order you wish. These changes will follow you across all the devices you log into. You can quickly access any products or documents you were recently in by swiping in from the left and going to the history page. And finally, if you're using the Microsoft app, you can right click on many areas of the software and get the context menu. This will allow you to share, maybe send an internal email with a link so a colleague can quickly open the document. Or you can copy a link to that page and share it with a colleague. And finally, you can do a lookup, just like an EVMS, if you wish to quickly jump to the customer record or vendor record or a sales order, if you have my orders allowed. There are many keyboard shortcuts available in the Microsoft app. The topics we covered and so much more are available on our knowledge base. Go to info.eaglebusinesssoftware.com Click on the search button and search for My Inventory. My Inventory is a full featured app that's designed to enable many first line workers to access, create, and edit product information from anywhere. Thank you for watching. Visit info.eaglebusinesssoftware.com slash support slash insider to access all the EBMS Insider episodes. And if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us and be sure to check back next month for another EBMS 
Insider episode.